Hey, neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nuts. This must be Sybil's cat. Given the alternative, I certainly hope so. There's a conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there! Open the door, Sam! I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. Testing? Testing! Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players. Day one. Enjoying it so far. Oh, if you wind up with extra gold coins, bring them back here. I need them more than you do. Looks like in some ways, Reality 2.0 is the same as regular reality. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Day one. Keep exhaustion at bay by drinking huge quantities of jitter. Every time you get tired, just down another one. Who came up with this stuff? It's genius! I love energy drinks! I want to take a flying leap off the wagon, Sam! Absolutely not. You are not to be trusted with any combination of taurine, ginkgo, niacin, or any other underdocumented energy-enhancing substance. Oh well, I guess I'll just stick to plain old sugar and caramel coloring, and lots of it! I think that's for the best. Emergency! I'm running out of jitter! Send more to Sybil Pandemic on Straight Street! Please hurry! Give me all your gold coins. I need them, and I need them now! Also, send more jitter. Chill out, lady. Sheesh! I'm starting to feel less guilty about forcibly removing Sybil from this game. Guilt is a waste. Much like humility, limerence, and DVDs. Listen, you idiotic losers. Why would you put stupid coins in the stupid sky? How are you supposed to get those things? I can't buy the next level of my jack-of-all-trades ability because I can't afford the training fees, and these coins are just floating up there in the sky! Who designed this stupid game? If anyone hears this, I really need some more jitter now. You'd think if Sybil didn't like the game, she'd stop playing. Your dearth of knowledge about online gaming culture is staggering. Okay, this is just not cool. Monsters are invading my homepage! I didn't know they could do that! That's just ridiculous. That's just, that's just bad game design. You hear me, designers? Bad! Or else some jerk is griefing me. Whoa. I think I feel my head spinning. I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! I think this is where we came in. I'm afraid there's some sort of bug. Contact Randy Tudor to fix it right away. Testing? Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to Sybil's virtual reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Did you get new goggles? Make sure you explore everything. Reality 2.0 has many fun surprises. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what's going on, Max. This isn't Sybil at all. It's just a statue of her, passing on scraps of pointless information. We call them avatars in internet speak, noob. Have you been visiting late night chat rooms again? Pet rock lovers rock sores! If you ever need help, 
Seek out the Internet Wizard. He knows all. Gold coins can be used to buy useful items at the item shop. Ooh, I love items. Easy there, partner. She distinctly said useful items, not useless schlock destined to clutter up every corner of one's office space. In that case, I'm not interested. Beware wandering monsters such as the blue slimes and shambling tentacle beast. How much XP do you think I need to be a wandering monster? I have no idea what you mean, little buddy, but I'm pretty sure you already qualify. Great! Let's go find some adventurers to devour! Hello, fellow... I wonder if we can break down doors in virtual reality. I doubt it, but I bet you can break down reality in virtual reality. Baffling as ever, little buddy. This reality 2.0 thing is kind of cobbled together, don't you think? Yeah, and the cobbler has one eye, hooks for hands, and the shakes. I heard that. Reality 2.0 is statistically designed to be all things to all people. Your tiny mind simply do not comprehend its elegance. My tiny mind minds being called tiny a tiny bit. Hey, Internet! Internet? Darn. The Internet is our adversary. How on earth are we going to combat something that isn't in any one particular place? Simple. We just have to attack it everywhere at once. And how do you propose to do that? I'm the president. I just make policy. I rely on my lieutenants for the operational details. Let's get cracking. Jokes or skulls? Yep. Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a mail cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hun. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The Internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. Could you please explain your job more thoroughly? My friend here wasn't paying attention. That is how mail gets distributed throughout the entire internet. This is my trusty sidearm with which I beat senseless anyone who would have the nerve to try and put anything contaminated in the mail. And this is my backup protection, in case any scum manages to survive the beating I give them. How often does that happen? Never. I have extra proficiencies in weapon, domestic implement. So, if I was to try to put anything nefarious in the mail, you would... Beat you senseless with my frying pan while my armor kept you from touching me! Gotcha. Go on, Sam, try it! Few things are more humorous than watching a good friend being splattered on virtual pavement by a virtual frying pan. I'm touched by your deep concern for my well-being, Max. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Do you ever leave this spot? Oh, heavens no. Who'd be here to guard the mailbox? We could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. You never take a nap or anything? I don't need to sleep, hun. I stay awake at my post all hours. I don't sleep either. I just know the moment I start to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet will come out and eat me. Max, the closet is full of the collected detritus of our former cases. There's no room for clowns in there. 
They're only in the closet when you sleep, Sam. Right before they leap out and disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Look, Max. Some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. Ten out of ten survey subjects agree. No known experience can match the raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay! What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. Oh, supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not! <laughs> but typing is fun, and a proven stress reliever. I think I'm about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. How do we win? Uh, what? Win the game. You know, beat it. Oh, no, no. In reality 2.0, everybody wins. Except the monsters. They die! Killing monsters is right up our online alley. How do we do that? Some are easy. Some are hard. But be careful. If you get hurt in reality 2.0, your original body may feel the blow. <laughs> Owie. Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... Nothing. Now, see, I would have phrased that as, no, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness, blackness all around. It's terrible. How needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Come again. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available where prohibited. I'm all out of questions. But I'm not out of answers! Who cares? This is much cooler than a newspaper. Is the news any better? No. Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait! I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honkin' ones that let you eat ghosts? Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question. Go ahead. What? Ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. Why do you ask? 
Guys, it's me, Bosco. I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution for the Shire. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please. Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? Bosco, you've got to take off those goggles, man. I never want to leave. Ever. So how's Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know, in Reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite. Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital. Safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. If we wanted to pay real-life money to your bank account, how would we do it? Oh, it's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy! Oh, and you also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I, I don't know what to say. And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The pushpin of eternal punishment? Nay, the wooden longsword of intense, uh, longness. Wooden longsword of intense longness? Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly, there are greater weapons to be had, but none of such intense, uh, longness. Fine, let's cut to the chase. How much are we talking here? Five gold coins. Five gold coins? Are you insane? We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain. Tis! Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No. In fact, I had it wiped from my memory so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No! Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there, either. See you later, Bosco. For the Shire! Hot rump. Wow, that rump is... hot. Okay... Spawn point? What does that... Ew! It's kinda cute, actually. It must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die! I need the experience. Potions of heavily processed meat tastiness plus one.
Ye old organ barter? Self-flogging weekly? Wench bunny? Something for the whole family. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no! Get away from me! Hand it over, mini jerkbag! No way! I stole this coin fair and square! Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine! Beat it! Cyber Ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi-ant experience. Girl, you have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. How is it that Mr. Spatula is here? Tiny waterproof goggles? Who was it? Our future. Ah, crank collars. I love those guys! <gasps> Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Whoa! Pop-ups! Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. God swallow. I heard that. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing must hold up! Whee! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally. I, I, I feel pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! Look, Max, it's a me, Sam. Yeah, sell out. Let's get cracking. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Yikes, that dude's bugging.
Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? I found a gold coin. Wow, lose weight and earn money? Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension and I've never felt better. User with control operational. Say hello to my little friend. Hello! I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try a <coughs> character height malfunction. OMG, Sam! Look how cute I've become! You've never been more marketable in your life, little buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! I'm in a thrilling life. Someone get that guy a lozenge. <laughs>